my fascination um, with making this piece of work began in Iceland when I was looking up images of the moon on the internet, just, just random images of the moon, and I somehow stumbled across um, Earth Moon Earth Radio, the kind of um, radio transmission where people are bouncing signals from the moon, and, um, and just couldn't believe if it, if it was real or fictional, and looked into it a bit more and found out that it was real. Well, when I first decided to send Beethoven's Sonata, um, I'd, I'd find out about the technology beforehand, the Earth Moon Earth um, transmission, and I didn't know at that point what I'd like to send, and it could have been a drawing or anything really if it was broken into code, but I thought a piece of music would be um, maybe a good idea because you could actually hear or not hear here are the gaps, you know, here are the rests and the bits and pieces that didn't come back from the moon. And I looked up Wikipedia's most popular moon songs, actually, <laughs> and, and found number one was the Moonlight Sonata. And I listened to it at that time as a MIDI file, which, which was really um, kind of clunky and quite childlike, a bit like ding, ding, ding. And I suddenly thought that it could, it could work quite, quite well going from the moon coming back and having pieces missing because it just it, it lost in the MIDI translation it had lost its expression anyway so it kind of became less of a grand piece of music. When it came back I thought about that really it should go through another kind of technology or translation and the player piano seemed kind of apt also because it has this strange kind of ghostly effect. I mean, it really still sounds like the original sonata, it's quite subtle, the gaps. Mm -hmm. 